Hey everyone, welcome back, and Alex here again. And today I'm going to do a skill review for the last core class that I have not done a skill review for yet, and that is the class of the Warrior. And as you can see here, I got my Warrior, Terraza, and she is um, kind of, well, I'd say about halfway through the Factions campaign. I won't say she's. she's terribly long but she's got a number of skills and today I like to to cover one of them and that's this one uh, defensive stance now defensive stance again it's one of those skills like many of the skills that I've reviewed that doesn't look like to be a great skill so here it is it's it's in the tactics line and for five adrenaline and an eight second recharge you have a stance that for three seconds you have a 75% chance to block all melee and projectile attacks. When defensive stance ends, you gain one strike of adrenaline for each melee attack skill you have. In this case, for a maximum of two. This is for tactics of nine. I got 14 strength and 13 swordsmanship. So, three seconds is not a long time, and I think that's one thing that puts a lot of people off from this stance but it's a very powerful defensive stance and it can easily pay for itself again it has a maximum of two but when you use it you get adrenaline back so it's almost free but not quite if I crank up the tactics here let's see if I bring strength down and I bring tactics up okay I'll last for four seconds and then I get a maximum of three so that covers three adrenaline out of the five which is pretty good let's see if I get any more no okay so that is about as far as tactics is going to go in this case. And okay, actually, there's a switch point at uh, tactics 10 here. So for four seconds, you can get back a maximum of three. So let me just check here. So I got a healing signet, and healing signet is not a skill a lot of warriors like to use. Again, they like to use that with a healing monk, and I frankly I don't use healing signet. Uh, hardly much at all, but I've been playing with it along with a different stance, and that's where defensive stance comes in. Defensive stance, again, not a long time, but it is long enough to activate healing signet, and I'm going to use these two in combination. So that is really where defensive stance shines. It, it puts you into a very strong stance against really any kind of melee attack. To allow you to do something such as, it's in this case, healing signet. So to get something off that's very, very important uh, to keep you alive. Now, the thing about defensive stance, though, is that it does not protect against damage over time, which is not that really big of a factor when you're doing healing signet. But it is. But what is a big factor is any kind of elemental damage. Because while it blocks melee and projectile attacks, it does not block elemental damage so when elemental damage hits you this is not going to be worth a whole lot and you're going to take double damage from that elemental damage but two out of three is not bad two out of three is not bad and i will take two out of three to get this healing signet off so anyways i'm here in the guild hall now this is the bang early bird catches the worm guild hall here i'm gonna head back to campa and we'll see how this goes. All right, so here I am in Kainag Center. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to Senji's Corner. I'm going to beat up some Amfa. Okay. So here I am. Now, the thing about Warriors is this, and that's kind of interesting about Guild Wars and it really is something that is worth worth mentioning because it's how you play the warrior in Guild Wars unlike a lot of other RPGs the AI although not perfect is smart enough to attack lower armor targets when they see your party and since the warrior your warrior in this case is one of the if not the highest armored target in the game, 
more often than not, the AI is going to, to ignore you. They're going to run right past you, and they're going to go after your more squishy targets. So if your skill, ball or skill bar is completely tanked and just has tank and defensive skills meant to soak up damage, then that's not going to work really well because, one, you are not that much of a threat to the enemy party. And when your threat kind of goes down, that the enemy can safely ignore you, then you're pretty much worthless <laughs> to your party. You don't have enough damage to really impact the fight in the long term, and you may have so many tanking skills that you can always live, but if you're the last one alive and you're going, going up against 4, 6, 8, 12 enemies, doesn't matter how many defensive skills you have, you're going to die. So, so that's the thing. You have to, as a warrior, and again, I've not played the warrior a ton. I know there's a lot of people that are better warriors than I am, but you have to be a big enough threat that, one, it's too dangerous to ignore you and they have to attack you, Where and that's where your healing and defensive skills can come in and really be a tank. Or, if the enemy team chooses to ignore you, that you can do a lot enough damage to really impact the fight and make it a bad idea in the fact that they ignored you and that's uh, really where a lot of being a warrior uh, comes into particularly with the AI again you know that is one thing that the AI and human players do share in common in Guild Wars is that they will not go after high value targets particularly in hard mode in normal mode yeah yeah if they see you a lot of them will, will attack you and you can kind of do normal tanking tactics but if you think you can be a warrior just walk out in front of the enemy group alone while the rest of your team is right behind you and the enemy team's like oh hey look kill it <laughs> and just come down and just hit you with everything they have while the rest of your team sits back sipping sangrias or margaritas and just casting spells and wiping out the enemy team that's not gonna work so that is one thing to really keep in mind with the warrior again it's more of a general tip but definitely one to keep in mind so while I use defensive stance and it is a defensive st kind of skill and taking skill along with endure pain it really is there to make sure that I can keep myself alive in order to do my damaging and crowd control skills that should make me a big enough threat that I cannot be safely ignored. So skills such as tiger stance, uh, hamstring for movement control, again, sever artery. I got savage slash here for interrupt, and I got a nice attack skill here with uh, elite dragon slash. So, but anyways, this is about defensive skills. What I'm going to try and do is get into a battle here where I'm going to be forced to use it. Now, defensive stance is, as it says, is a stance, so any other stance will cancel out of it, or will cancel any stance previously. So if I'm using tiger stance, and then I switch to defensive stance, I lose tiger stance. You can only have one stance up at a time. Endure pain is not a stance, it's a skill, so that's one thing to keep in mind. So I can use either defensive stance or tiger stance along with endure pain. All right, so let's uh, get some henchies here. I do like an archer. It's good for, I think she's got some interrupts. Same what I got here. I'm gonna go, oh, I need a healing hench. Actually, where's the other healing? I want Sister Ty, there we go. And, let's see, what are her earth henchmen? Earth henchman always has Earth henchman always has war against melee, which is nice. So anyways, let's see if we can find some trouble. Okay. So I got my team out here. We got uh, Hydromancer, Mesmer, I got Protection Monk, so I'll do protection duty, and I got my uh, Kaitla just doing general damage conditions and uh, also has some blood support. So. Now, if you notice, defensive stance is grayed out because it is a adrenaline stance. So, 
you can't use it right off the bat at the beginning of a match. You, know, you have to wait for it to charge up. So, so again, another thing to keep in mind. So again, there's a boss, and he always likes to run out forward. Yep, and there it is. To target him, I'm gonna go into my tiger stance. Kind of being hit here, but it's just from double dragon, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Okay. yet so I've not really had a chance to show the skill but again just because I'm not being focused I can you go into say tiger stance and really wail on this guy okay now there they are okay so they're using golden chop and down he goes okay all right didn't really get oh, some bolts of stuff okay didn't really have a chance to show the skill at that point but I think we'll have another chance up here. Let's see, Jade Brotherhood. Jade Brotherhood. Let's see, we can go on top of the rooftops here. Let's go this way. Mage, Mage, Knight, Mesmer, Ritualist. Again, the Ritualist is usually a healer. Now. It's usually pretty deadly. I'm actually. Oh, Okay, they're going away. So I'm going to focus on the knight in this case. All right. Yep. And now I'm being hit. I'm going to run the tiger stance. Down he goes. And I got actually got a pretty nice protection skill on me there. So I'm going to have to use defensive stance. Oh, okay. So now, all right. Now we gotta get stuck in here. Okay, there. And that did not work. Again, it was because I was using. Um, I was being hit with elemental damage, but I kind of had to take the chance there. My team should be able to take him out, but I don't know. Yeah, my team can take him out. Come on. Okay, so that was not the best play on my part. I really should have done Endure Pain and then activated that skull just to give me the extra buff room, and I didn't do that. I didn't have that... Uh, skill in my mind so that was a that was a bad play on my part but let's take a look here and see if we can find something else again 13 death penalty okay let's up okay so let's see if we can keep going here and find another group Okay, so I'm going to try this group here. Go up. Yeah, I'm always use those rooftops are tricky. Okay. 
And now... Slash, take him down. Uh, again, not really an opportunity to show this stuff. Let's see if we can make it work with this group here. Okay. This does kind of show what I was talking about earlier. You're making them reg regret ignoring you. And that is a key thing. Okay, now he's hit by Pierre's axe. So that mage is ignoring me. And now he's going to regret it. There you go. And that it goes. Okay. Oh my goodness. It, it, it's hard to show the skill because it's hard to kind of get into a situation where there's a lot of melee here. Okay. This guy. Okay, kind of wailing on me here. It's okay. And down he goes. Okay. <laughs> for a skill review, I can't really get anything going here just to show how it's used. You do have a lot of tools to take down armored targets, so you're actually good against fighting other knights. There's one thing to keep in mind because of your strength attribute and your armor penetration. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into hard mode and just see. Yeah, that may work a lot better. Okay, let's do that. Let's do hard mode. Let's do hard mode. I'm switch here. I'm going to switch to hard mode. Okay, so I got my full team. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I'm gonna take out Savage Slash. So I'm not really doing a whole lot of interrupts. And let's see here. Actually, I do like Sprint.
Now, Dragon Slash is a very damaging ultimate, so I don't need to do too many skills on top of that. So now I'm in hard mode. Let's just see if I have any better luck in hard mode here. Okay, so there's the Jade Brotherhood. Three knights. Sometimes it's just good to hit it anyways. There's a lot of enemies up here. I remember that. Okay, so we'll take out these mages. Okay. So we're going to try and get into trouble up here. There, I was able to use it. Okay, good. So there, I was able to use my stance. I'm not gonna use healing sentiment right now. It's a little too dangerous. And boom, heal myself. There we go. That is how it's used. Okay, so that was actually a good demonstration. I'm it's um when you get into that situation where you have a lot of melee type of enemies and you get them to concentrate on you, that is where this comes to be a very big help if you hit it right at the right time you hit the right time you hit healing signet and i was able to heal myself while i was under attack from those uh two or three knights that is really wanted to demonstrate it took a while it, and um it wasn't uh wasn't too clean still lost you know quite a few members of my team but i was able to be self-sufficient even though i think my healing monk was or at least my protection monk was down i think my healing monk was tapped out i was able to heal myself for you know my 142 health while i was under attack from those uh knights those um, jade knights jade brother knights again it's it's important to realize though you cannot be under like a lot of elemental attack because it won't it won't work okay so let's go over here they're walking away Yeah, come on, quit 
there. Cancelled out my sprint. I went to Tiger Stance. Okay, there we go. Alright, here we go again. Oop. Yeah, didn't work that time because I was under elemental attack. Didn't quite work there. Let's see. And I just had those two patrols hit me at the same time. Spawn kind of far. Okay, so anyways, that's what I wanted to show. It was not really easy to show uh, these two working together at the point that I wanted. But again, it was that point where I was, <clears throat> I was under attack from a lot of melee attacks, which is not often because they kind of ignore you as a knight, but or as a warrior, I should say. But if you can make these two synergize together, they work really, really well. And I was going to give myself one nice shot of healing to myself to keep myself going and keep that battle going. So anyways, that's defensive stance. Again, I apologize for the long video. I apologize that it took so long to, to get to that point. But uh, it, it really does show kind of the pluses and minuses. I was able to show it used in a, in a good sense. I was also able to show it how not to use it, really, when uh, you're under a lot of elemental attack, particularly things like Double Dragon, which I was hit a couple times, and things like that. So It's a skill that you know, it really does require a lot of practice to put it, apply it right at, the, uh, right at the best time so you can you know, hit Healing Signet. But uh, it does it does work. It's, it, there have been a couple of cases where it, it worked really, really well, and that was one of them uh, when I was under attack from those three nights. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for more skill reviews. Thank you very much. Bye bye.